2010 to 2014, the Multi-Species Baseline Initiative ran 497 winter bait stations across the Idaho Panhandle. Fieldwork was done by eight organizations, including 200 citizen scientists. Getting to the base station was the hard part. Setting it up is fairly simple. We attach a bait to a tree. We place hair snares under the bait to collect DNA. And a remote camera takes photos. We leave the station, and a few weeks later, we come back to see what animals visited the station. We detected 28 species, but cameras detected more species than DNA because some animals don't climb the tree. Coyotes took longer to detect than any other species. Bobcats were detected more often later in the winter. Martin were the most commonly detected species. We detected Martin at 54% of our stations. Once an animal found a station, they usually stayed as long as there was a bait available. Therefore, rebaiting the sites did not change the results of the species we detected. Stations should be deployed for at least 45 to 60 days to detect low density species like Wolverine and Canada Lynx. DNA remained viable for months during the winter, but spring rains degraded DNA hair samples. Analyzing our data and publishing our findings helped us understand how to deploy bait stations in a multi-species framework and provide that information to other researchers.